She's saying many of you have already ascended as these other beings. Now you are here to show the humans <laughs> how it's done. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Milgis and today I'm going to be channeling the Blue Avians. I came across the Blue Avians uh, in the early stages of my spiritual awakening. I was very curious about my starseed origins and I really wanted to know. So I asked my starseed family, please show me who I am. And this is when I started to have experiences with the Blue Avians. And over time, I've been able to also building a greater understanding of Blue Avians in general. And I feel the Blue Avians around me here today, and I'm going to channel them. Basically, I'm just going to quiet my mind and uh, see what I get. So now I'm seeing two Blue Avians step forward. And these Blue Avians are from the 12th dimension. Not all Blue Avians are from the 12th dimension, but these ones are. They're saying, uh, greetings, dear ones. We are here to offer guidance here today. This session is needed in order for us, humanity, to navigate uh, the months ahead. We are very excited that you are here today listening to us. We are here presenting on the behalf of the Blue Avian Collective and on behalf of the Galactic Council. They're saying many of you, star seeds and light workers alike, are wondering if you're on the right path. We want you to let go of this fear, this worry of not knowing, of second guessing yourself, overthinking it, and being overall undecided about your future. We want you to be confident in where you're going next and what you are to manifest next in your reality. I think which part of yourself do you want to manifest? The undecided, not knowing, the worry, or the confident part of yourself that knows where it's going. The determined divine masculine energy is the energy that we want you to put forward. I'm sensing one of them to be more masculine. He's the one that's uh, stepping forward and talking right now. There's also a more feminine one as well. But I'm going to go ahead and sense what he has to say first, and then we're going to go on to her after that. He's saying there will be obstacles that we will be put in your way. But remember, no matter what's happening on the collective level, Remember that you can still manifest from your own frequency and your own reality. He's saying the divine plan is unfolding as we speak, even though on this physical 3D level, it seems like chaos is ensuing. He's saying, well, that is true. There are many things going on behind the scenes and there is a plan in place set by source, set by the Galactic Council from this divine intervention this has already been set into motion. It has already manifested itself on the energetic side, just not yet in this physical reality. They're saying it still will take time to manifest itself into this physical reality. In the meantime, he wants us to connect in with the new earth, with this heavenly frequency. They want to, us to connect in with it as much as we can. He's saying many people will be forced into survival mode, so they won't be able to focus as much on spirituality, on the divine. And he said, that's totally okay. If you're guided to focus on grounding or just focus on everyday life just to get through it, he's saying this is definitely a good thing. He's saying it's healthy to have a balance between the two instead of being too detached from this reality, too focused on the divine or the angels or the ETs on the outside of yourself. Sometimes we go through phases where sometimes we're more focused on that. Or sometimes we're more focused on this physical reality. He says, do what you feel you are guided to do in this moment. He's saying, give yourself a break. Do not put pressure on yourself. He knows that there's a lot of people in this spiritual community that are putting pressure on themselves to ascend, to get to the next level. He's saying part of this is coming from the ego. And the best thing that we can do is let go and surrender to the light. Uh, he's saying there's no right way to doing do things, whether it's shadow work, whether it's certain types of meditations. He says he quite likes the simple approach that I've adopted instead of, uh, overthinking things, looking too much into things, and letting go and surrendering throughout my life has been very freeing to me in my experience. He's pointing at me. 
So that's cool. <laughs> he says often people look uh, to the external part of themselves or external things to try to get further ahead or get or progress at things. But a lot of times the real progression of human growth comes from within, comes from self-love, comes from self-worth, self-esteem and confidence. He's saying, give this gift to yourself. You deserve this more than anyone. He's saying on the other side, we see you as whole. We see you as complete. And we want you to see yourself in this way as pure light. We want you to go throughout this experience not feeling vulnerable and feeling lack-minded at times. Although you may feel these things, hopefully not for long periods of time. Uh, now he's switching directions and he wants to talk about the international conflicts that are going on in the world. And I'm very hesitant to speak about things like this and I don't really like to, but you know, when spirit comes to me and wants to talk about these things and I will talk about them, but overall, I don't like to spread fear and things like that. But you know, we're living uh, in this reality and then things are happening and and sometimes there is fear and chaos that manifests itself here on the world. So we have to talk about it at times. He's saying, first off, there will be more international conflict happening here on Earth. There will be many more people that will die. Although he does not necessarily see this as a good thing, as many tragedies that will occur here on this physical plane. But on the other side, they see this from a different perspective and that the overall energy is shifting here on Earth. This mass exodus that is happening here on Earth, as many souls will be leaving, is also a part of this energetic shift. He's saying Earth still has time to go before it reaches its golden days. And he's reminding us that this time is like a blink of an eye to them from the other side. And that may be why we feel so empowered and feel so amazing when we connect in with this new Earth frequency because he's saying, this is what it's like. This is what it will be like. But in the meantime, collective is only where it's at. And we've incarnated into this frequency, making this collective agreement to be here. And he's saying, the impact that you are having here on this planet is greatly needed in order to raise this frequency here on planet Earth. He's saying also this frequency that star seeds have brought here and that light workers have brought here it's bringing all the negative energy to the surface to be released, to be transmuted. So he's saying, just remind yourself and remember that you're not on the wrong path when you are seeing all these external international conflicts happening. This is just the old paradigm wanting to manifest itself. He's saying you are on the right path, dear ones. Keep going, keep spreading the light, keep being this light here on this planet. He's also saying, give yourself credit and instead of being, oh, what is my purpose? What am I am to do here? He said, give yourself credit just incarnating here. Coming from that perspective, just try to enjoy life as much as you can. Because he's saying this life, these lifetimes are very quick, very fast. And we learn lots and lots uh, through them. But also we forget to enjoy them at times. Just to be in the moment. Now the more masculine Blue Avian, he's just taking a little bit of a step back and the more feminine one, she's coming in to uh, have a word with me. <laughs> she's just showing me lots of love and she's showing all of you lots of love. She's expressing her gratitude towards us for being here in the human flesh. And she's extending the gratitude from the Galactic Council, from Source, of how grateful they are. She's saying, you are the real heroes here, <laughs> down in this human form. She's saying many souls have elected not to do this because it is a very difficult process incarnating into this frequency, coming from the energies that you have come from, coming from the stars systems that you've come from, incarnating in a high vibrational frequency as an Arcturian or as an Andromedan or Palladian, and then incarnating into this frequency, it's not an easy task. He's saying many of you have already ascended as these other beings. Now you're here to show the humans <laughs> how it's done. She's saying this is also part of the reason why many souls will be staying here on Earth that are lightworkers or starseeds, 
because they are here to be amongst the new earth, to create the new earth, and to show people how to get there. Now she's going forward and wants to talk about AI. She's saying many jobs will be lost and there will be uh, positive things that come from AI, whether it's from medical technologies and so forth. But overall, she's saying it will have a net negative on humanity for a time. She's saying humans will have to rally themselves in order to stand up for their rights, not just the rights that they have here on Earth, but universal rights. Again, she doesn't want to spread fear. She still wants to let us know that there are many energies here on Earth, watching over Earth, watching over humanity, that are looking out for us. So instead of spiraling, fear-mongering, focusing on these things all the time, remember everything is energy and everything is frequency. So she's saying, we don't want you to create from this space of thinking about negative things all the time. This is not necessary and it's not important. But she says it's also important to be somewhat informed, be aware of things that are going on. Do what you feel you are guided to do in the moment. Many of you will be told to not focus on these things at all, whether it's AI, whether it's these international conflicts coming forth. Many of you will be guided just to focus on your own life and to build a life that is more comfortable and, and where you can stay at a higher frequency. She's saying some people will be guided to fight. Some people will be guided to protest or stand up. And she's saying, if you are, then do it. She's telling me that this is more of a serious tone during this channeling and that not all of her channelings are like this. So she's just uh, telling you guys that. <laughs> she's just relaying what is needed to be heard here at this time on Earth. It's a transitionary period, and she doesn't want us to be caught off guard when things are going off the rails coming here in the future. Now she's shifting directions and saying that many are going to have to stay strong during these times. Uh, many people will lose their jobs due to different things, whether it's AI or these international conflicts, and they will have to be strong. They'll have to find a way to survive, to make money, to, to financially support themselves. She's saying many people will sit back and work their corporate jobs and so forth. And these are the people that will be caught off guard, some of them. And it will not be good for them because they, these people aren't capable or able to think outside the box. Lots of them. But some people that are able to think outside the box in, a, in order to create streams of income, whether it's side hustles or <laughs> entrepreneurs, these are going to be the people that excel and that are still going to be living higher quality of life. But she's also saying that this lull period, it may be only happening for a time and then things are going to start getting better again. She's also pointing out that throughout the 20th century, 21st century, that things just kept getting better and better, whether it was electricity, air conditioning. But now it seems like things are getting, uh, taking more of a downturn. A lot of people are living in their cars, losing their homes, losing their apartments. They can't afford to rent places. She's saying instead of sitting around and waiting for things to get better, she wants us to be more proactive, whether it's you're owning a house, you need to rent out rooms in your house or do whatever it takes to get through this period. She's saying this may be a time for action, more defined masculine energy. She notices many women here on earth, they are rooted more in their divine feminine, doing the energetic work. She's saying, wow, well, that's important that you have done this work. Now it's time to take more action. Now they're both stepping forward and they're saying, if you need help in your life, we are here to help offer that to you. All you have to do is ask. They're saying whether it's us, the Blue Avians, or whoever your Starseed family is, please ask us to help. This helps us to put the energy into motion. It also helps them to specifically to pinpoint areas in your life that you need help with and to go to work at, at these things. They're saying the best way to do this is just to write down things that you need help with on a piece of paper and they will get to work for it. And she's saying, don't forget the angels. <laughs> don't forget the angels. Yes. 
the angels are very good at helping as well. Now they are stepping back now and they're just expressing their love for us and they are just exiting now. Wow, that was pretty intense. I think they had a lot to say and they also talked about a lot of things that I don't really like to focus on or talk about. But sometimes it can be important to talk about these things just to shed light on some of these situations that are happening here on Earth. Sometimes when I channel these very high dimensional beings, it can be very like I'm floating almost or getting too much out of my body. So if you did listen to this channel, you may may feel like you need to ground after this. I'm just warning you. So go go out in nature, go into the ocean, go by a tree. And just to let you guys know, I wasn't born knowing how to channel. It's something that I learned over time the past several years. And, and I believe everyone has a divine birthright to be able to communicate with spirit and to talk with them. Whether it's just in making decisions within your own life, having that guidance, these angels and ETs and Starseed family members are part of our guidance system. So that's why it's important to communicate with them and to tell them what we want and also be able to receive guidance from them, whether it's just yes or no answers. It can be very helpful to navigate this reality. And it doesn't mean you have to channel for other people. It can just be you have this for yourself and maybe your family or something. With that being said, this is why I've created a course that is geared towards teaching people how to channel and communicate with spirit. Because I feel believe it's very important to take matters into your own hands and to be able to channel for yourself, not always having to go to a psychic medium or something. In this course, we, the medium teachers, are very experienced and we help walk you through how to do this, like one-on-one. -on -one. And the number one thing that people struggle with is they second guess themselves. And this is what this course teaches you not to do. <laughs> it just helps build your confidence so that you can get on the right track with channeling. And the cool thing is in the course, you don't have to get things right. It's all just practicing. If you're interested in this course, you can message me on Instagram or you can email me. And there's also more information about this with the link in the description. Second of all, I also do one-on-one -on -one private readings and the readings will be 20% off for people here on the higher self. I'm going to leave it like that for like a week after this video is put out. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description. But really, the channeling course and my private readings are around the same price. So I say, why not learn how to channel yourself? Also in the comments, let us know if you liked the video. Did you resonate with what the Blue Avians said? If you would like me to elaborate more about my Starseed origins and to talk more about the Blue Avians explaining the traits and characteristics of Blue Avian Starseeds, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video about that. Also, you can check out my own YouTube channel called Paul Milligis and I have a lot of different content on there that you might enjoy if you liked this video. So make sure to go over there and subscribe. But anyways, thanks for watching and until next time.